By day, Seattle like Jasmine Park is a program manager at Microsoft, but in her downtime, this Capitol Hill resident hunts down individuals wearing fine fashion all over town. And then she posts the photos of those outfits on her blog for the entire world to see, and it's created such a buzz that even the local papers are writing about her like crazy. Yeah, now before we get started here, Jasmine, I want you to look carefully at Natasha. <laughs> and look oh. carefully at me. Yes. <laughs> Now, Who can't... would make your blog? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I couldn't decide. So oh, it has to be a duo. Oh, no, oh. no, no. So what, 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 what's, your, what's your criteria? What, 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 how'd you come about doing all this? Um, well, I've always liked looking at people who are fashionable and stylish. I've always admired somebody who could put together a good outfit. And so I thought it'd be for, sort of fun to do it for Seattle. And fashion blogging is becoming more and more common around the world in various cities. And so Seattle didn't have one yet. So I thought, well, it'd be fun to do it. And it's yeah, taken off really well, and I'm really enjoying it. It really has. A lot of people, a, a couple of years ago, I had to ask, what the heck is a blog? Mm -hmm. And somebody explained it to me. How do you explain it to other people? Um, it's a very easy way of having a website where you can just post your thoughts to people, and throw them out there, and type them up, and post them. It's a very, very simple way of, of getting basic information out there. So what do you do? Like you're shopping or something, all of a sudden you carry your camera with you all the time? You see somebody, yeah. whoa. You try exactly. to sneak the photo without them doing right it? Now, huh? I have a giant <laughs> camera, and I have to find purses that can carry it comfortably. But wherever I go in Seattle, I'm always bringing it, and which means like I'm kind of annoying to be around with because I'm always looking <laughs> at other people instead of focusing on the person I'm with. But when I see somebody, I sort of hone in on them and I go up to them and ask them, "Do they mind if I took their picture?" And are they pretty open to it? Surprisingly, yes. People are really nice about it, and Seattle sort of has a reputation for being the people, at least, for being a little bit unapproachable. People are actually mm. really nice here, and yeah. so. Okay, let's, really nice. let's talk about some of these. So this is a photo you took on Capitol Hill. What makes these guys fashionable? Well, I think that their style is pretty prototypical of Capitol Hill in that it's a lot of denim, very casual but hip shoes, and the way that they've put together their outfits is, is very comfortable but, but hip. And I like this photo in particular because it's in front of one of my favorite places in Seattle, Baguette Box, which is a great restaurant. And the five of them just seem so comfortable, and they mm -hmm. seem like they're just hanging out on a Saturday afternoon in Capitol Hill. And it's like a very nice little image of Capitol Hill. And you really can't go wrong with jeans in Seattle. That That's always true. seems that way. Is there any mistake way. any one of these guys might be making in any of their outfits? Really? Or just lay all pretty like good? that green yeah. jacket? What do you think of that? Well, I actually kind of like it. I mean, it's practical in that it's, it's um, weatherproof. This guy actually works at a, a boutique in, in Ballard that's very fashionable for men, mm -hmm. Ball, um, Blackbird. And um, I like the way he looks sort of preppy. And then the other guys are, are fewer layers, but I like that everything is fitted right. Mm -hmm. It's also very key. Now, you have another picture here that we're about to see of a Pacific Place couple. What, what made this stand out to you? Um, what I liked most about the way that they look is that they found a style that suits them well. So everything that they're wearing fits them perfectly. And they're not trying to dress younger than they are or, or older than they are, certainly. It's just that it fits them exactly right. And I mean, I love seeing people like this because I think that, you know, as you get a little bit older, it's it's harder to keep, I think, track of trends. Mm -hmm. But You know that. That's for that sure. They... Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> let, let me ask you, this, this caused some controversy. Is that true? Um, I think that some of the, maybe some of the hipsters who read my blog will wonder, What's uh, what's up with this couple? I mean, you know, they seem pretty generic. And then, but I've heard. Oh, like, nice! Wouldn't you like funny. to be called? Oh, they're generic. <laughs> <laughs> well, generic in the sense that I think you can find clothing like this pretty easily in any city, anywhere. It's but safe, isn't it? It's fairly safe, but I think that again, they they found a fit that suits them right. And I've heard from many other people that they're sort of inspiring. I think an easy way of looking good as a couple and and finding clothing that 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 suits you. Has anybody refused you at all? Only a handful, surprisingly. Why? Um, what would they hmm, say? I think it's more like most out of shyness. Uh -huh. so they're like, oh, I'd rather not, but thank you. And, you know, they still find it to be a compliment, I think. Now, New York City, they're known for being bold for fashion anyway. Mm -hmm. You've got a picture here from Soho that you, you love. What, what, what do you like about it so much? Well, what I love about this girl is that um, she knows she, what she's done is taken some pieces that on their own aren't particularly daring, but it, as a group they are. The hat with the earrings and the stripes layered with a long shirt. This long dress with the jeans is, is sort of daring, but... The way she's put it together is so perfect, and um, when I'm taking pictures in New York, in Soho especially, it seems like there are so many fashionable people everywhere, and so when I come back to Seattle, I'm looking for pockets of places in Seattle where I find people like this as well. See, and I would call that dress over jeans. I would call that really daring. I would be scared to do that. Yeah, but I think that she demonstrates, especially when you dress it down with casual shoes, that it can just be another outfit you wear on an afternoon. So I, I ask you a question. So we, we found out you were coming to the show. So I was going to wear a suit today. I thought, mm, no, you I can't wear a suit. A yeah, so I went, too. no. I and like, yeah. everybody, yeah. everybody in okay. our staff all tried to wear different <laughs> stuff and, and, and looked at it. In fact, Natalie, come out here. Come out. Look, look. No, don't <laughs> shake your head. Look at that. See? 
She's all dolled up there. She got the, what do you think of that style? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks great for Natalie. Isn't that awesome? And so, I, I love cardigans. You do, so what do, you, what do your friends say? Do they try to do the same thing? They like, oh, Believe me, oh. everyone who finds out I do a blog is like, so when, when are you take my picture? Oh, really? And it's a constant running, at work especially, where people aren't as focused on fashion, I would say, at Microsoft. It's a constant joke. I hear it all the time. Really? See, yeah. I would freak out because I never know what, I'm such a tomboy. I don't even know if outfits look, look good or not. I have to ask everybody around the office, so I'd feel self-conscious. So look out in our really audience. for being bold and going for it. Yeah. Look out in our audience. Anybody there that just kind of strikes you? You're thinking, yeah, that's styling. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely, I, I like the girl, I'm sorry, uh, who's sitting close to the camera wearing a um, sort of black halter top here. Yeah, stand right oh, up. Yeah. Oh, very chic. Yeah. It's a very, very New York, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Take the brow. So, what, what makes that? It's just the, the the black, simple black, very nice, put well, first together. First of all, I think this dress could work anywhere. And what I've liked is that she doesn't dress it up with too much jewelry or too much makeup, and her hair is very simple, so it looks great during the day. But I could totally see you going out at night with that as well. Yeah, looking so, a little bit more glitzy. But you say it's not too much jewelry. Yet you have a really kind of a busy necklace yeah. on with a busy top. So, <laughs> I'm not. Don't critique the bloggist. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just asking because I don't know. It's so interesting. Yeah, I like I like swapping up textures and uh -huh. doing things that kind of pop a little bit. But I, I love simple clothing as well. We'll so be like watching that. your blog some more because it's oh, it's you gotta In check fact, it out. In uh, fact, you may be getting another big deal, a publishing deal coming up. We'll hopefully you'll come back when you get it. All right, yeah, yeah, all right, we'll be right back.